Alright, hello YouTube. Uh, this is part three of the Railcraft mod showcase. Now, I've got this little system set up here to get me some creosote oil because I had to do wooden ties. And I had to set this up to create steel because you can't get steel in creative. That's a bit of a bummer. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the parts needed to make some rails. And I'm going to show you the recipes for rails and set up a little system and show you what they do. So, yeah, wooden tie, which is used to make rails, you need three wooden slabs of any type and a bottle of creosote oil. To get a bottle of creosote oil, what you want to do is get a bottle and then you want to put the bottle into the iron tank like that and you get a creosote oil and one bottle is the equivalent to a bucket full so it's a thousand unit now next you're going to want to make a stone tie but you need a rebar for this and three stone slabs to make stone ties so a rebar in a rolling machine oh bugger Yeah, all of these rolling machines have already done the recipe for some reason. But anyway, rolling machines now have to be powered by engines at the back. And it doesn't matter whether it's build craft engines. Now, I'm sorry, but these um, rolling machines have mucked up and done the thing. Uh, anyway, recycling standard rails, you can put tracks all the way around like this and get two standard rails. Uh, advanced rails is, I think, gold, red, gold, and standard rails. Uh, wooden rail is like this, standard rails with wooden ties. And then you click this and it will drain the power. It has stored power in it and give you the wooden rails. And then, right, obsidian dust, you put obsidian in a rock crusher, but I don't know how to use the rock crusher, so I'll just put that on the sign. Reinforced rails is six steel ingots with three obsidian dust, and again, drains the power from there, and makes you the reinforced rails. Now, high speed rail, I think, is gold, redstone, and standard rails, but I'm not sure. Uh, you have to check that on the wiki. Uh, wooden red bale, wooden rail beds is for wooden ties. A stone rail bed again is for stone ties. A gold plate gear with build craft. Like if you have build craft installed, you have to use this recipe. But if you don't have Buildcraft installed, you have to use the next recipe. So with Buildcraft, you use a stone gear with four golden nuggets, and it gets you it. And if you don't have Buildcraft, it's four golden nuggets surrounded by a cobblestone. But if you have Buildcraft, you can't make it like this. You have to use the other recipe. The new recipe for standard rails, as it changes it, you have to use wooden rail bed with standard rails down each side, and that gives you 16. Uh, powered rails, new recipe, is advanced rails down the side, a redstone and a wooden rail bed. Now a boarding track for a single cart. There's two versions of a boarding cart. There's one for a single cart and one for a train. You use it f as a train if you attach multiple carts together. Now a boarding track is crafted with six advanced rails, a wooden rail bed, a pressure plate and redstone if you want it for a train you have a redstone repeater now I'm gonna just pause the video here and show you how this works I'm gonna set up a system alright so the boarding track I've got my cart on here and no I cannot push the cart off the track now if I get in the track get a redstone signal, it'll push me off. But no, 
it will stop the car on a boarding track that doesn't have redstone power. So if I show you this, turn that off, and fire it off, it'll stop it there. And again, like that. But if it's powered, it'll just let you carry on. So, if, and another thing is if I get a one way track, which I'll show you a recipe for later on, if I put it like that, there, now if I put a cart down and power it, it fires it off that way. Now, when it, now, If I put some more standard rails this way and get rid of the one way track, it'll carry on there. Um, but if I put the one way track here, I'm not bigger fan on the one way track because it doesn't really work for me. I don't know. But the one way track's supposed to stop it from going that way and make it only go one way. But again, I'm not a very big fan of it. Um, so the next track is the... Just find it. The buffer track. Now the recipe is this, and this is a pretty simple one, so I don't really need to set up a new thing, but I'm going to because I've got to delete this. Now I'll be back in one sir, moment when I've set up. Right, so the buffer track is pretty self-explanatory. It's a buffer track. Now if I did this and powered it, it'll just go running off the track. But I'm going to place a buffer track here. Note that buffer will face whichever way you're facing so if you face that way it will face that way and if you face that way it will face that way now you want to put the buffer there put the cart on the boarding track and the buffer will hold or stop it there now that's pretty much all the buffer track is for is so that you can make like side ends with the other like the you know the tracks that let you have I'm going to try and make this with a there we go right and then put a normal track down and put a buffer track here so if I that off I'm lagging a little bit so might have to stop and it'll buffer that way but if it goes the other way it won't buffer if you don't have the buffer so it's like a side in for other for trains that are not in use so that's the buffer track the next one is the control track now I'm gonna have to set up another system for this now it's crafted with standard rails in the four corners the two these two is advanced rails redstone at the top and bottom and wooden rail bed in the middle and it gives you 16 control tracks now I'm going to be back in one moment while I set up a system right so the in control track is a pretty simple track um, if non powered it faces one way and I haven't got any carts. We'll boost it really slowly that way. But if I power it and place rails here, the cart will slowly be boosted the other way. So as this has actually been in since the alpha version of Railcraft, but it's kind of been changed a lot. That's pretty cool that like you can just change it because if you're going down the track the wrong way 
you just quickly get to the lever, flip it, and it will change the direction of which way you go and send you back. Although, you will need a couple of powered rails, like here, just to speed it up a little bit, especially if you're going uphill. Now, the next track over here is the... Oh, the next one is the crowbar. Now, the crowbar is a tool which is three iron ingots surrounded by rose red dye and the crowbar is what you use to connect carts together so if I put a cart here and here there we go that will make it into a train so that they're both attached also it destroys and the crowbar will also change the direction of a control track but the reason I've shown you the crowbar is because that's how you connect tracks, trains together. The next one is the coupler track, which you get eight of, and it's the same recipe as the decoupler track, except from the crowbar is on the bottom, and you get eight. Now, again, pretty self explanatory just put the coupler track here and the decoupler track here now you put redstone signal on them then I'm going to want to put some extra tracks on the end. Now, the coupler track I don't really find very useful because you have to have two trains going over it at pretty much the same time. But if you couple some with crowbar, they're going along. Okay, I'm going to have to put a booster track in there. Actually, I don't remember it called being called a booster track. I thought it was a powered rail. But oh well. Right, and if I put two tra trains here, link them with a crowbar, push them into there, they'll be uncoupled by the decoupler track. So it's pretty self explanatory. And the next one is the the new detector rail recipe so there's no point in me showing you what this does but all it is is standard rails wooden rail bed a pressure plate and a redstone at the bottom and it gives you eight detect tracks and they're now called tracks and not rails if you haven't already noticed the next one is the disembarking track it is six advanced rails down each side, a redstone, a wooden rail bed and a pressure plate. Now again I'm going to set up a system to show you what this does and I'll be back. Right so I've set up the system and the disembarking track is a pretty cool track. You get in your car and that's the disembarking track over there. Now I'm going to flip the lever and I'll get sent over and I'll get ejected from the cart when I get to my destination so that's a pretty cool track and of course it has to be powered by a redstone signal otherwise it won't work now the next track is the elevator track now this is another cool item now it's created with six advanced rails standard rail in the middle and two redstone now you get eight of these and again I'm going to set up a system to show you what it does so again elevator track self-explanatory elevates you up now you can't put a track here because the elevator track still takes up a block now you're going to want to power the top elevator to power them all to go up and when you want to come down you don't want it powered now just a little um, demonstration here power it on, 
come over, you go up, you come over, and you go down. Now, just make sure you put these going down elevators on, because, as I found out when I was testing this, is if you don't, you'll just go flying off pretty much. So you're going to want to put elevator tracks going down, but remember not to power them. Now, the next track is let me just delete that. The next track is the gated track. Now, this is six standard rails, two fence gates, and a wooden rail bed, and you get four gated tracks. Now, I think this is going to have to be the last one. I'm going to have to put the next one into another episode because we're already running long. Now, again, I'm going to have to set up a system for this, and I'll be back. Right, and the gated rail is a rail with a gate on the top pretty much because I don't think you can actually put a normal gate on top of a rail. Now, you can either open this manually when you get up to it or with a redstone signal. So I've set it up with a redstone signal. So what you want to do is power up and the gate will be opened for you if you got it by a redstone signal. Now, a lot of people don't want that. Now, the next one I'm just going to do quickly because it's another version of this one. It's the one-way gated rail. Now it's an ad two advanced rails, four standard rails in the corner, again with wooden rail bed and two fence gates, and gives you four one-way gated rails. Now again, I'm just going to set this up like this, and it gives you the fence. Now this time I'm going to test it to see if I can do it with just. Oh, shit. See, that's why I did it with redstone signal, because I found it a lot easier. Now, bugger. So anyway, you, it goes over that detector rail, which I accidentally just destroyed. It goes over that, opens the gate, and then you just go through. Now this one is a one-way one. Like the other one, you can go in through both ways, but this one, because of the way it's set up, you're going to want to, it's not going to go in that way, it'll just bounce back, but if you put it through this way, it will go through and it will also get powered a little bit by the gated rail. Now, that's it for this episode. Again, we've got all of these left to do in the next episode, and we've also got to go through loaders and unloaders for liquids and items and all sorts of different things, and there's a few other items that I haven't shown yet. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe and don't forget to check out our Facebook and Twitter page. Cheers. Now, bye bye.